5 watt amorphous solar panel. There are the wires. Go here. Oh, and it's running that train. Now, if I feed the solar panel straight through to the straight through to the train, look what happens. Stopped. If I let the power go through that electronic circuit, the train sets off again. What's happening is that circuit is maintaining the solar panel volts at around 12 volts. Let me put this capacitor on and uh, it only puts the load on the panel to enable it to get to 12 volts and there it's coming up now that's charging up that's a one farad capacitor now when it gets to 12 volts it puts a load on the uh, converter and the converter takes power at 12 volts or about 13 volts or whatever it is and trades voltage for current so the locomotive gets say about six volts uh, at twice the current and the solar panel is putting out 13 volts plus a bit for losses and uh, there's the voltage coming up now that'll stop flashing when it's uh, when it reaches 10 volts and it's still charging up and uh, when it gets to around 12 volts it'll uh, the train will set off although that digital display itself takes quite a bit of power so uh, it might not even get there I've left it a bit late but uh, nonetheless no, it's slowly getting there I'll carry on explaining the circuit takes the power at uh, to, at uh, optimum load for solar panel and converts it to a higher current at a lower voltage and the circuit is simply a volt switching voltage regulator where the feedback is on the solar panel side not the output side so basically it regulates the input voltage uh, rather than the output voltage and rather than the output voltage and there it's got to around 12, 12 and a bit volts and basically it's, it's there we go once it hits that it, the train sets off now with the train actually stationary the locomotive stationary you get three times as much current out of that as the solar panels putting into it and that that's enough to get the engine started even in basically overcast weather and it's cloudy outside and that's not bad for a solar panel that's only 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters it's amazing to think that you can move that train on a solar panel that's only 30 steps it's, you see it some of my other videos you saw it at the beginning of this one and yet uh, there's a train going around on it and it's all down to that converter when I put it straight on the solar panel the train stops and uh, that's a standard off-the-shelf converter but modified to uh, basically regulate input voltage not output voltage and there you have it there's the train and there's the weather you see it's cloudy and down there is the solar panel and as you can see it's not very big at all so I think that's quite remarkable and it's uh, still going just that's a 5 watt panel in this weather it'll be juice producing about 2 watts and yet those locos are actually quite efficient and uh, yet that's enough to move that loco in uh, overcast weather yeah, it's really handy that converter this is actually for a, a Westfield uh, a, a solar charity it's uh, going to be a demonstration railway and uh, yes well chuffed as you see that that wouldn't run in this weather without that converter it's right at the limit even of the converter the converter was more efficient it could get darker still but it's quite a simple modified circuit and uh, so there you have it